What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Feebass Use Dig, back at it again, opening up a Silver Tempest Elite Trainer Box. So I got this from the local card shop. Not too bad for the pricing. I enjoyed it. I think it was M&M Cards in San Leandro. But definitely, this is my. F I've only ever opened up the Elite Trainer Boxes for Crown Zenith, so this can be my first uh, you know, non-Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Box. So, I don't know what to expect. I know from looking up online that the Silver Tempest card list, what we're going for is either a first ever gold card, so like a you know, Quasar VMAX gold, I think, and then Duraldon VMAX gold, or possibly getting one of the uh, trainer cards. Oh, I mean the Lugia V alt art, obviously. And for my own personal favorite that I want to get is the Ursa Luna V. Because I just love like Ursa Ring and like the you know, bear Pokemon in general, they just look so cool to me. So I wouldn't be mad if we got that card. But let's open this sucker up. Some scissors. How are y'all doing today? I hope y'all are doing well. I actually recorded me opening it, uh, recorded me doing some videos opening up the new tins. The uh, legendary bird tins from the new Crown Zenith. However, for some reason my mic wasn't working, so it recorded the video but has no sound. So I'm going to be uploading those onto TikTok, just the shorts and like to see what I pull. I, we did pull some really good bangers from that oh, from that place uh, from that those tins. And honestly, I think those are like the best tins I've ever opened up some really good pull rates and I really did enjoy the artwork on all of them. Favorite artwork definitely is going to be the Moltres one and second favorite is the uh, Zapdos. Let's move this away, that's a little booklet. Open this bad boy up, see what we got. So we get <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight packs of Silver Tempest. We got some dice and some energy counters. Some like, I don't know what these are, like card divider or whatever, a pack of pure energies. Here is the code card for all you guys. And here we have some new you know, sleeves. So definitely different than the Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Box where you get the Lucario V-Star as well. <coughs> And you get some more packs for roughly the same price. I know Walmart still has them for around like 60 bucks. Which I'm surprised like you know, Crown Zenith like didn't get sold out immediately. Like they've been consistently having them in stock. Except for that, that Super Elite Trainer box. I was lucky enough to get that one when it first came out. But it's since you know, been sold out. So again, looking for the Alt Art Lugia V. A gold card or personal favorite. Ursa Luna V. Let's start off with this Lugia right here and see what we can pull. Come on. Man, I just cut my nails too. Excuse me, I'm gonna use my scissors. Do you guys open your cards by hand, scissors, or do you guys prefer like a letter opener? Cause I'm feeling, should I get a letter opener for this stuff? Or should I just risk it with my hands or use my scissors? But let me know what you guys use. So here is the code card. One, two, three, four. Starting us off with a Leaf Energy. Lopunny, a fan favorite. Braxian, never use this one. Don Fan! My boy, took it to Mario. That's a nice artwork. Who's, who makes this? Kawaiyu, 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 do some great artwork right there. We got a Noibat, a Pikachu with, okay, that's pretty neat. And this is a common card. So it's Pikachu, Togetomaru, and Dedene all together. I mean, I'm surprised that they wouldn't make this like a secret or something just because it has like, you know, three of the, I guess, you know, knockoff Pikachus like right there with it. But very nice. Spinda, never known anyone to use that card. Ralts, reverse rare 
furrow thorn. Okay, that's not a bad armor. I thought from far away it looks like a like battleship like in space shooting off like beams. I didn't know it was for a thorn for a second there, but that's pretty neat. And for our rare, a non holo Fione, probably the worst mythic or is it mythic Pokemon? I think it's Fione and Manfi or whatever or Honestly, that, that line of legendaries is... Oop, just leave the wrong thing. That line of legendaries is not good, in my opinion. I, I think it's neat how you can breed them, and you get that smaller one. But it's just like, man, it's such a crap Pokemon. So bad. So, so far, nothing. Just a reverse hollow for a thorn. Let's move on to this pack right here with the Alolan Vulpix. And hopefully we'll get something else, but here we go. She's struggling again. And there we go. But do you guys go to local card shops, or do you guys prefer to go order them online from like Walmart or Target or something like that? I know for me it really depends. For me it really just depends on what the pricing is, because again. I noticed the Crown Zenith ones are more expensive and like they try to sell you how on it saying oh they're very hard to come by and that's why they're so expensive but I haven't experienced any shortages when it comes to buying the Crown Zenith stuff. You can go to a Pokemon website and there you go and they'll have everything there except for the Super Elite Trainer box but they haven't sold out yet. Little Lopunny, a Furrowside Girl, Murkrow, Litten, Petal, Clink, Sunkern. Okay, reverse is a Lance, not too bad. How'd you guys feel about Lance showing up in the first game and the second game, you know, Elite Four and then Champion? I thought it was pretty neat. I wouldn't be surprised if they did it again, like with a different. So we have non Hollow Miss Maggie's for rare, for like a different uh, gym leader. I wouldn't be opposed to seeing that again. So speaking of, you know, Lance showing up again, would you guys like it if they made a Pokemon game where you can travel to different regions, like, you know, from uh, Emerald, you go to Kanto or something like that? I, I forget what the new ones are called, but something like that. Would you guys like that, or you guys feel like it's just to leave it at the one? Personally, I think it would be better just to leave it at this is the one, because I know if it was interesting because I never really beat uh, the game to go to Kanto because it's just I found it like tedious ago. Why'd I have to go do all this stuff again? It's not like there's any storyline there. And the trainers are so much weaker. It was fun and interesting like, to see them and a good concept, but you know, it just wasn't really that much fun. I know people enjoyed, you know, they say the only real battles were the ones with blue and with the red. Two, three, four. And then the rest of it was like super easy because you're so over leveled. V Star, Dedene with Togetomaru, Primal Altar, Sunflora, Furrowseed, Chinchow, Petal, Litten, Smeargle. Oh, sweet! Oh, yeah, okay, I, I forgot they have a Radiant Pokemon in here. Oh, dude, that's sweet. Okay, so we got Radiant Alakazam. Oh, dude, that's sick. Painful Spoons. What is that? Once during your turn, I move up to another. Painful Spoons. But, dude, that's sick. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Okay, so we got a Radiant card. Not too bad. And for our rare, we have a non hollow Armaldo. So definitely going to put this one inside the custom sleeve right here, the Silver Tempest sleeve. To commemorate it being from the Silver Tempest era. That's pretty cool. I've never actually used Alakazam on my team. Again, the whole trading Pokemon thing, didn't have anybody to trade with. When they first came out, I don't know, Ethernet cords or anything like that, online training. You know, really it was hard to trust people back then. So I was never able to use it onto my on my team because you know the I think the GTS ever was like you deposit a Pokemon asking for something else and then you know what it's gonna be it could be like a good Pokemon it could be a crap Pokemon 
So I never got to use it on my team before ever. I've always wanted to though. I feel like if they made the option to where like, you can evolve your trade Pokemon in game, that that would be a really cool concept. Because you know, I, I want to evolve on my Kadabra if I raise it, you know, it's mine. My Kadabra, I've had memories with it, I want it to evolve. I want it to be mine, I want somebody else to, I don't want to give it to somebody else. Here's the code card. But what do you guys think? Did you guys use any of the traded Pokemon? Like, you know, Alakazam, Golem, Macham, Gengar, things like that. Did you guys ever use them? Or did you guys just either use the second form, like Kadabra, like I would do, or just skip them all together? A V, Grand Energy, Unidentified Fossil, Regenerative Energy, Fanpy, Dreepy, Baneary, Rotom, Swablu, Snowrunt, and Reverse. Oh, rever okay. Uh, Snowrunt was the Reverse Rare. Oops. See, let's do that again. So, Snowrunt's the Reverse Rare. And for our Rare, we got a Hollow Ariados. Very cool Pokemon, but very, like, weak. Like, I like. like honestly, Spinarak was. Oh, like I always tried to catch Spinarak to put on my team when I was playing, you know, gold, like gold, uh, playing silver and, you know, playing the original crystal. I always thought it was super cool, like you catch it at night and you can only ever see it at night. It's a cool spider Pokemon, but like its stats are just so horrible. It's They're so bad and it dies to everything. Bug types in the early generation were so bad. And it sucks because you know, I really enjoyed using the bug types, especially you know, Beedrill or you know, Beelfly and Dust Tox, Shedinja and Nakata. Well, Shedinja was, I guess, compatible viably, but uh, I don't know. I feel like they've, they've always been a letdown until recently. Recently, I've heard they've gotten really good buffs overall, so there we go. And da -da -da, let's move on to let's do it like this. Bada bing, bada boom. And move on to our next pack with the Eevee on it. Not Eevee. Vulpix. But speaking of Eevee, do you guys, what's the next, do you think there should be more Eevee forms? And if so, what would you guys want it to be? Like, I myself, for the longest time, I wanted Game Freak to do a, here's a code card, do a form to where Eevee evolves, because I could basically another whole, a normal type Pokemon. But it's they use a moonstone, so he's a moonstone, use on EV, EV evolves into something else, and it's still a normal type though. But here we go, we have a dark energy Dolphon Dratini. That's very nice. I used to have a Dratini stuffed animal that I would use as a counselor to help me, like, you know, talk to kids when I was getting my hours for my master's degree. Had a whole bunch of Pokemon stuff, plushes there, and when COVID hit, no, the school held on to them and they didn't give them back to me. And yeah, I honestly just didn't want to be pursuing it further. But I had a lot. I had like Rayquaza, I had uh, Dratini, I had a bunch of Pokemon. It sucks I can't get them back though. You use Torcat with a Ludvisk right there. Very nice. Spinarak. Fennekin. It's your boy, Feebas. Just chillaxing right there. I actually have that card right here on my thing right there. You see that? Keep him close with me. We'd love to get a reverse rare of this one. Chimeco. Fletchling. Non hollow reverse hollow dragapult for our rare uh, and for our rare a non hollow talent flame. So really we aren't doing that good. Like, what do you guys think about this set? Like, because we are really not pulling anything. We've only pulled one, like, technically good card, you know, being the Radiant Alakazam. And the rest have all been reverse rares and then one hollow. Yeah, I don't know if, yeah, I don't know about this set. This set seems pretty bad. I guess maybe just compare it to Crown Zenith. It seems bad because Crown Zenith, like, you always get a hit. Everything's a hit. But let's see here, let's start off with Reggie Drago. Looking to get that gold card, or the Alt Art Lugia V, or the Ursa Luna V. 
or even reverse rare uh, Feebas would also be preferable. And then moving on, let's see here. Here's the code card. Boom. One, two, three, four. Starting off with a Leaf Energy, Capturing Aroma, more Peko, with a Dedene and Togetomaru. See, artwork like this, where it has like so many Pokemon in the background, you would think that it's going to be like a harder, like a rare card, a hollow, or a full art. Is this by the same guy? No, this is by a different guy. This is by Nagemiso. Nagemiso. I like what they did with this thing. I definitely think that this should have been like a hollow or something. We have Broxian, Spinda, Dupider. Ugly. It's such an ugly Pokemon. I, I hate Dupider. I hate Dupider. Venonat, Ponyta. We got another Pikachu. Reverse Rare Baniri and Far Rare. Oh, okay. Alright, so we got a Arcanine v, Hisuian Arcanine V. Not too bad. Glad we got a V card. No, it's not the one that we wanted, but it's definitely better to have one and not get anything. Okay, better than nothing. Do I think that it's better than the Radiant Alkazam? No way. I think Radiant Alkazam so far is still the best card that we've pulled. But let's see. We still got two more packs, so maybe we can pull something better. Maybe we'll get the gold card or the reverse, uh, the Lugia V alt art, or maybe even the uh, Hisuian uh, Ursa Luna card. But let's go with the Reggie Oleki. Oh, let's do this. Come on, let's get something good, please. I also want to thank you guys you know, for liking and subscribing. It really does mean a lot to me. I love seeing the, uh, seeing people watch the videos, like it, and subscribe to it. Like honestly, like if you guys haven't, here's a code card. It's hard to describe the feeling because even if you if I only had like one or two subscribers, it just means the world. It feels great knowing that people actually don't care what we're to, of what I'm doing. But here we go, Steel Energy. I just want to thank you guys who have liked, subscribed, and commented. Steel Energy, and for those of you that viewed it too. Nine Tails, Whale Lord, Duozen, Elegium, Zubat, Solosis, Krogunk, Beldum, Reverse Rare Archeops. I think we got like a hollow of this before. And for our rare, a non hollow Incineroar. Okay, yeah, this. Oh my god, this pack is straight doo doo. This is a this is a doo doo set so far. Oh my god, is this what it's like for all normal sets? I don't know, man. But like, how do you guys feel about this set? How are your pulls? How many of you guys have pulled the alt card Lugia or gotten a gold card? Because this is some duty. Here we go, come on Lugia, bring us home. Bring us home. Yeah, I think it's pretty better off just buying the booster packs and then doing another one of these Elite Trainer boxes for this series. Code card. One, two, three, four. Starting off with a Water Energy. A Raichu this time, looking great. I really like that Raichu. Honchcrow. Slurpuff, Fennekin, Sandile, Snowrunt, Noibat, it's another ya boy, Feebas. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, we got a hit. We got a hit. We got a Milotic full art with, what was that, Wallace in the back? Is his is name Wallace? With Wallace in the background. It's your boy. Evolve to my final form. This will be me once I hit a uh, million subs in the future, thankfully, hopefully. Well, look at that. That's a nice card. Okay, okay. And for our rare, we have a non hollow Hisuian Lilligan. Okay, so finally, the last pack really did come through. It came in clutch. 
we got something super nice. We got full art Milo tick to go along with our Feebasses. Excellent, excellent card to end the pack on. I'm glad we got at least some full art. I was going to be pretty depressed if we got... If the only thing we ever got was just a 1v card and a 1 a Radiant. I guess the Hollow too, but you know. Definitely worth it. So this is the haul we got from that Elite Trainer Box for Silver Tempest. Definitely not the best. Definitely not the best. No way. But not too shabby. If this is what it's like normally getting these boxes, I can see why people just buy a booster box instead. But definitely happy with this one. Glad we got this. That's going to do it for today. I want to thank you all for liking, commenting, subscribing, and watching the video. Y'all take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.